seriously, if it's not one step forward, it is two steps back. So first and foremost, my Renix engine management or REM2 came in today. I am super stoked to get this sucker installed. It plugs into the engine communication or the uh, ECU communication ports over here, snake a cable inside, and then this is your little monitor tool. Uh, supposedly there's been a bunch of new updates since the last time I had one of these on my last Jeep uh, that Nick said that he's done. So I'm super excited to try this out. Had some great information on the old one. Uh, if you have a Renix based uh, Cherokee, I highly recommend getting this. It's like 150-ish bucks, something like that. And it gives you all the information about what your ECU is seeing. So, you know, if the vacuum, if it's pulling a vacuum, it tells you what your map's seeing, showing it's um, uh, your oil pressure, your, you know, what gears you're in and the transmission. I mean, it's just really, really cool what all the information this can give you uh, for it. I was one of the very first customers. I think I might have been even the first customer who got one of these guys, um, tried it out, loved it, but ended up selling that Jeep. And so it was one of the first things I bought when I bought this Jeep, as soon as I figured out what I was doing. So that's not the step backwards. This is, I'm replacing the vacuum system on my Jeep, but I don't know if I have a different engine from a newer Jeep, or if this is just a different head, or if it's just a valve cover that's different, but these are correct parts and they're too small they're too small so if somebody knows <laughs> some dimensions and can give me an idea of what gaskets i need to buy to plop in these holes i have my um slide rule thing whatever it's called to measure and figure out but goodness gracious i i, I can't win for trying and and i found out today because i'm like where is my lift i gotta have my lift and it won't ship until October 1st. Today is the 31st of August. So it won't even ship for over a month. And I'm not happy about that because I want to get done. I was hoping to get done uh, in September so I can enjoy it in October, not finish in October and enjoy it in November. So not happy about that hopefully they get the parts in sooner and ship it sooner um i bought it on quadra track they didn't have any notification that it wasn't going to be shipped right away on there um but when i looked it up none of the retailers had that kit available so do i wait or do i find something else why what are your thoughts so because i'm kind of really annoyed right now this is like really annoyed so anyways, that's what we've got going. But I have all these pretty new vacuum lines in. I have some green. This is some holdover spare vacuum line from my Mazda. Got some there. And then this was a, this had been broken, so I just put some on there as well. Zip tied in place. So that way it's going into the correct place. Because it was coming and pulling off of here. That's the wrong spot for it. That's the correct spot for the crankcase crank case ventilation. So, yeah, got to get the right parts in the right places. Anyways, that's that. Kind of sad. I was hoping to be able to start it, get this plugged in and monitor it, but I can't run it with the engine open like that. At least I shouldn't run it with the engine open like that. Anyways, uh, if you have any thoughts, let me know on what gaskets I should buy. I think... I think I'll buy the ones for a later, like a 96 or later, these. I think I'm gonna see if these are the same size. I'll buy two that fit like this, and I'll probably have to cut them and widen them a bit, but then this should fit in, and then just slap some RTV or something on there between this and the gasket once it's in. Same with that one back there. But if you have a better suggestion, let me know. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day.